Hi yoga and karate friends. I'm making a, short, a set of short videos. I'm gonna to try to keep them in a two minute realm. Um, I have some short things to say. I don't know if it's gonna take five minutes or one minute, whatever it is, but they're gonna be short. And I'm doing this in response to Jen's latest video uh, where she goes over the Ashtanga, the eight limbs of yoga, including the yamas and the niyamas. Uh, and that's it's an awesome video and it's set up to help you memorize those terms which is a very useful thing to do and I, I think something that's that's overlooked in learning that uh, rote learning is actually really fun if you just repeat things a bunch of time and, and eventually memorize it you have all that information at your fingertips you don't have to look it up it's it's kind of fun uh, anyhow that's what Jen did and you might have wondered in all that well where's the teaching like like where's the information what do these terms even mean well here's the thing that the teaching is that's your job <laughs> here's a, a, a list of topics and ideas or precepts or questions or however you want to consider them what are they and do they have any relevance to you and if so how would you define those things and then you know you go off and you practically apply that and then, you know, back to the drawing board. Well, that's, you know, there may be a way to understand that better back to the drawing board. Uh, and by the way, karate is yoga. Uh, we look at this, the, the big eight uh, parts of the Ashtanga uh, eight limb system. We've got yamas and niyamas and then asana. And what are you going to do? Asana is posture, uh, um, your seat, you know, your balance, your connection to the ground, we go on and on. So then how are you going to cultivate that? Well, there's, there's an Ashtanga yoga practice. Um, there's martial practices, there's Qigong practices, there's just sitting meditation practices. Uh, so there's all kinds of ways. You can do that with weights or with running or whatever your asana practice might be. Um, so very much in the tradition, uh, this tradition, martial practices are one of the one of the you know most potentially powerful ways to fulfill that part of the uh, Ashtanga setup. So I, what I want to do uh, with these videos though, is, is talk about the yamas and niyamas and go through all all ten of them with you know short little what they mean to me. Um, so uh, the first one I think could be understood as the number one takeaway. If you just did that, you're done, uh, and it encompasses all 10 and maybe the whole, uh, all of the big eight. So there's your cliffhanger. See you in the next video.